In this video, we're going to show you how to create a janitorial services or cleaning related proposal using Proposal Kit. Most commonly, people use this for janitorial services, usually commercial cleaning. Uh, you can also use it to create janitorial product sales proposals, government RFP responses. You know, maybe you might be buying or selling a cleaning franchise or writing a janitorial services business plan. So any aspect to janitorial services for any business reason, you can create a proposal for it. So if you look at our website, we actually have an article, how to write a janitorial or cleaning business proposal. If you scroll down this article, it'll have some links off to some samples. And using the wizard software, you can rebuild any of these samples and reuse them as your own starting point and create editable versions, and you can create them in any of our design themes. So if you see a sample here that has a different visual look you like, you know, you can pick any of our design themes to create that sample in and make it an editable version of your own. And you can scroll down the article and they'll have some links off to some of our more commonly used or related janitorial design themes. You know, again, we have hundreds and hundreds of design themes. These are the ones that are specific to, you know, janitorial services. Uh, but we have lots of others that could be used as well. You can also create your own design themes using our professional edition or using our basic novice edition. You can just import your own logo, you know, and customize a little bit. So we're going to illustrate this video with our janitorial number three design theme. And we're going to show a janitorial commercial cleaning proposal. So every time you're going to create a document like a proposal or so on in the wizard, you click this document projects button and we'll add a new project. Okay, so on this pick document screen is where you're going to select all the chapters for your proposal. Now janitorial services is going to be a fairly common type of proposal and the check boxes on this 40 most common template screen will cover you know basic service proposals so you might check off a cover letter title page products page your an about us page back page an estimate or a cost summary that'll cover it for your basic services proposal but you might also want to start with a pre-made list or even one of our samples. Since we happen to have some samples that are janitorial related, you can just come to the view samples tab and you can scroll down since they're in alphabetical order and we happen to have a janitorial services sample. Or you can use the search samples button and just search on a word like janitorial or cleaning. So we just select that and we can import this into our project. And since this is a sample of ours that's been written by someone else and filled in, you can reuse our samples and build your own editable versions using this view samples tab. There's 200 samples in here to pick from and a couple of them are gonna be janitorial related. And you can also go over to this quick start tab and you'll find the same janitorial services sample over in the Quick Start tab. Now the Quick Start tab's got over 600 situations in it. We can search here for janitorial or search for any common word, cleaning, so on. So we find a carpet cleaning, cleaning services, hospital cleaning. Now these other ones that aren't samples, you will still be able to build a template with all these chapters, but they'll be fill in the blank. The difference between a carpet cleaning or cleaning services and a more specialized one like hospital cleaning is a hospital cleaning template. It's going to have more chapters in it to talk about like safety issues, hazardous materials, and so on and let's say post-construction cleaning services. That's Since that's more construction cleaning related, cleanup, it's gonna have more chapters to talk about probably disposal, recycling, you know, site cleanup and things like that. 
So we're just going to show the janitorial services proposal. And if you pick anything from this quick start list, and it happens to also be in the samples list, you can import that content from here as well. Also, the layouts over in this quick start tab, we sometimes have additional fill in the blank, you know, boilerplate chapters in addition to what's in the samples. So the, the quick start lists will expand on the situations a little bit more, maybe give you some more ideas to think about as far as chapters you might use. So we've imported 13 pages, you know, maybe your services proposal doesn't have to be 13 pages. If it's only, you know, five or six pages, you can strip out a bunch of these extra pages you don't need. Or we're just going to show a very comprehensive example. We filled in the client data screen. We've got the company data filled in, which is just our company. So whatever you put in here for your name and address information will get merged into the templates. We have our documents selected. We've got the project set up. Now we've turned off the Excel dynamic linking here just for purposes of the demo. You know, for the novice edition, you're not gonna be linking Excel spreadsheets into the Word documents, uh, but that is a feature available in the professional package. And once you click that, okay, you select the templates button. This is when the wizard is going to generate the document assembling all the pages in the design theme you've purchased, pulling in the content, merging in the data, and so on. Okay, now the documents have been generated, and let's take a look at it. You can see the name and address information has been merged into the cover letter. It's pulled in the actual sample content here. And this is using the janitorial number three design theme. And you'll note it looks a little faded here. That's just Word, how it looks in editing mode. If you double click into the headers, you'll see the background pictures in the full color. And when you save as PDFs or print, it's all going to be in full color. That's just how Word works. So you'll see the cover letter has our title that we put in the data screen, has our name and con address contact information, and the table of contents and all the list of pages that we had in the list. And you can see it pulled in the sample content into this page for the services. Pulled in the sample content for some of these other pages. Recycling info, reliability, now some of these, since we use the quick start import, added extra pages on top of what's in the actual sample. So when you, you, when you add extra pages, then those will be these fill in the blank templates. Some of these other pages, such as the company history, this is getting pulled in from the actual sample that you can then edit. Same with qualifications, that's pulled in from the sample and so on. References, uh, obviously you're not going to be able to use someone else's references from a sample, so this will be fill in the blank content. And that is how a document is generated for a janitorial services proposal. Now we'll show a second example here. We'll illustrate this in a different design theme as well. Now note that you will only use the design theme you purchased. We just happen to have all of our design themes in the demo here. So whichever one or more design themes that you purchased are going to be what you can select in the style list. So just like your website or your business card, you know, typically all your proposals are going to go out in one design theme. So you just, when you purchase a design theme, you just pick the one that's going to have the look you want for all your documents. Now this next example will show a, another one of our samples, which is cleaning related, which is selling cleaning related products.
We'll select that from the samples tab here. And we'll just search the samples for the word, say, cleaning. And we're going to select the basic product sales sample proposal. It just happens to be cleaning product related. And we'll click this import content from select sample button. And you'll see the pages that are going to get imported with sample content. And note now we can add to this list if we want, if we want to add additional chapters. You know, any of the thousands of templates that are in the system, you can add to expand on what you want to talk about. You, know, you can go to this Add Templates tab and click on this drop down. You know, click the uh, Home Services selection of chapters, and you'll find some specific chapters that you might want to add. You know, if we got to talk about uh, disposal, cleanup, you know, maintenance, anything extra you're doing, uh, housekeeping, cleaning, if you want that as a chapter. You, know, you can add to your list. These ones might be good for service sales, but for product sales, you know, we can come down here and click these entries for product sales, and we'll get additional chapters that are suited for product sales proposals. So say if you're selling cleaning products and you want to talk about your packaging or shipping handling details, delivery details, price comparisons, and so on. If you want a page for product visuals to put photos of your packages, bundles, you know, so on. You know, we have thousands of templates in the system. You can add anything in our system to expand on your proposals. So let's just say I want to add a return policy page to this proposal. I've just checked that and we'll look at our list of templates and we'll just move the return policy down after the guarantee to the last section. Now since I'm adding an extra page on top of the sample, this extra page is going to be boilerplate content, not uh, the fully written sample. These extra pages will be fill in the blank content for you to edit yourself. Now that we've selected all our chapters, we click this button. OK, you select templates. We're back on our project page. And we just give this a title to say cleaning product sales. And we'll just reuse one of our stock clients. And once we have the company data filled in, the client data is filled in, we've selected all the chapters, it's going to pull in the sample content, then we can save the project and let the wizard build our document. Okay, this document's been generated. Let's take a look at this. And you'll see the same name and address information. And you'll see this is a different cover letter pulling in the sample content. And this is the Bubbles 1 design theme. You know, the last one, Janitorial 3, that was a photo design theme. This is a line art design theme. And you'll see the, say, the benefits page that's been pulled in from the sample. And this is all editable text now. You can customize this and make it your own. Features page, recycling page, price list page, the about us page, and so on. Products page, and the return policy page is what is the custom page we added. So you can generate any number of combinations of design themes and lists of chapters and drop in content to create any kind of product sales, service sales, any type of proposal. 
So what you see here in these examples, you know, this is just one of countless possibilities. And we'll show one last example. We'll show a franchise sample selling a cleaning franchise. And we'll illustrate this with our janitorial number two design. And just like before, we'll click the document projects button, add a new project. And since we just happen to have another sample that's a cleaning franchise sales, we're going to just use that sample like the others. And we just go over to the, either the samples tab or the quick start tab. And we'll just search for the word franchise. We'll import the topics from this list and it notifies us that there is sample content for this layout. We'll import that. That's our list of chapters and we'll just stick with the stock list of chapters. And before we'll fill in the company data, client data. this a title. Now that we have everything selected, we just build the document. All right, now this last example has been generated. Let's see what this looks like. And here's our sample content that's pulled in. And this is the janitorial number two design theme, another line art design. And this sample was selling a cleaning franchise sample. See the table of contents, all the chapters are pulled in. And you can see some of the sample content it pulled in here. And you can just edit this to make it your own. Note the samples are just one specific person who wrote a proposal for themselves one way, and you get to use that sample content. You know, maybe it will help you get your writing done a little faster. You know, it's up to you. It totally depends on the situation, but you know. If you have content anywhere you've created, whether it's off your own website, documents you've written yourself, or content you found somewhere else on the internet, you know, you can copy and paste anything that you have into the pages here and then edit as needed. And this is one more example of how to write a janitorial or cleaning services related proposal, whether it's selling or buying a franchise, selling cleaning products, doing commercial cleaning services, you know, whatever your situation is. You know, how you use Proposal Kit is just a matter of picking a design theme, selecting a set of chapters, if there's some sample content, importing that, setting up some data, generating a Word document template, and then it's just a matter of word processing to finish filling in the content. And that's all there is to it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And click subscribe to keep up on the latest proposal writing tips with Proposal Kit.